Brooklyn style is unique. There's a huge renaissance of individuality. Very artistic and eclectic. We're so like honest and free with how we dress and you can really do whatever you want. My style is being classic and just comfortable. I like to match her, so my style is comfortable as well. Comfortable and fly. I love my glasses because they remind me of me. They look like a flower and my name is Camellia. They are definitely an expression of who I am. Brooklyn style is experimental. We have a whole bunch of artists, artisans, makers, and the best way to express yourself without saying words is through what you wear. I'm normally gravitated towards things that have a little bit of texture and like that 3D element. This is my baby, my little Caperni. <laughs> it's so sleek and fun and it goes with so much stuff. When I'm going shopping, I just try to be super intentional. When I buy a piece, it's something that's gonna be in my closet for a long time. I kind of wear just uniform every day. Basic white tee, essentially. Definitely like a baggier pair of pants and some comfortable shoes. Jewelry from my jewelry company, Her Children. And I get so much inspiration daily from people. My favorite is just seeing like super fly, like grandparents walking around Brooklyn that have been here their whole life. I like to dress comfortably, but also I want to avoid any rules that may have to do with my age. And I also always want one little twist on it. Today, the twist was putting the pin on the t-shirt because this is strapless. This, my mother-in-law actually picked up for me in the antique shop. So I wear it a lot, I love it. Every single thing has some sort of a meaning. This has my daughter's names on it. We are matching IDs. My personal style is I wear what I'm allowed to wear. She controls my closet, so I can only pick out what she's curated. I do that because he does not have any interest in anything he has on. So I just lay it out so he looks as cool as he can be. I feel like I've just been dressing like this for forever. My style is a little quirky, things you'd normally wear, but with a little bit of a twist to it. Junior Watanabe shirt, little patchwork elbows, scalloping on the hem, body pants with little embroideries, hender scheme, leather shoes. Not too in your face, but it's like a nice little elevated everyday look. With my jewelry, it really has to be something meaningful and important to me. I have a ring from my grandma that I had to bother my mom for for forever. <laughs> a lot of my inspiration for how I dress usually comes from seeing how old people dress. They have like the best style because they really don't care. And they'll be wearing something for decades that they just own. And it's really them, like intrinsically them. And I love seeing that. I feel like Brooklyn is kind of the epicenter of style. So you'll find so many flavors here. I like things that are a bit colorful, but still like kind of neutral in a sense. There's so many transplants and I definitely think they've had like an influence on that playfulness. Young people are just like a lot more expressive with color and fits and shapes. Um, I grew up in a very like Afrocentric like household, so it was always African things around me, like statuettes and stuff. So kind of seeing that was my source of inspiration. Usually with my outfits and proportions, I would do like baggy or wide pants, shorter or crop top. And I love deconstructed things, kind of why I like the back as well. And then the skirt is plain sud, and I kind of like it because it has like a mud wash to it. So my style is usually a mix of like Japanese fashion, American fashion, also Afrofuturism, things that inspire me, things that I study. I show this Junior Supreme. I always love a good button up on a Sunday. Cap is from the deli down the block from my crib. White tee is from the deli as well. I gotta support the ox. BB Simon belt from Caps USA, you know, Harlem world. Pants are from 18 East. They always got some good shit. Nike phone posits. Not the most comfortable shoes, but I love them to death. Right now, Brooklyn is like, Sorry, my homies. Right now, Brooklyn's like switched up, especially like compared to when I was growing up. I feel like I always gotta make sure I look the part. Brooklyn is always evolving. There's always so much transience coming and going, and the style reflects that. The people who've been in Brooklyn for generations, and also people like myself that moved here recently. Anything goes, really. Everyone's kind of just like mixing up the really nostalgic style. 
There's not like one sort of broad stroke for Brooklyn style, which I think is really cool. Everyone has a real sense of themselves in what they wear here too. There's like a real personalization and like self-expression to the way that people dress. People just like aren't afraid to wear what they want. I feel like the biggest trend I've noticed is like the nine. <laughs> They don't want you to talk about this. What is the trend that you noticed? The honking. <laughs> yeah. That's New York. Yeah.